What is going on, everyone? Thank you for joining the D-Den podcast. So we are in a new setup. Just for this week, though, we have Thanksgiving break. We're both back home from school. Um, obviously, we live in neighboring towns. So this wasn't a big deal. We met up. Uh, awful week for both of us. Both winning, going five for whatever, how many games there were. We both have five wins, and no one got their mortal locks right. Nobody. My mortals were Baltimore, Cleveland, and Dallas, and his were New Orleans, Seattle, and the Giants. And the Seattle pick sucks. We were talking about that earlier. The Seattle pick sucks because, first of all, Kyler didn't play. So when Kyler doesn't play and you have another Colt McCoy game, you don't deserve that. You don't deserve that at all. To have two Colt McCoy games that are being good, he gets one of those a year. So that sucked. And New Orleans getting smoked also kind of stunk. And the Giants stink in general, so that was depressing. Uh, My Dallas pick, I guess Chiefs are back. I faded them. Fuck me, I guess. I guess they're back. And Baltimore and Cleveland just didn't cover. It was upsetting for me. So we're going to skip over that. This is that. That's what we're doing right there with that. That was a tough week. We're going to go on to the next week. Obviously, I can't show you the spreadsheet because I don't have the spreadsheet up right now because I would be able to control it because I'd be close to my computer, but I'm not. Also, I forgot the mic on me again. I don't know if you have anything to say about this week or how it went for you. Um, I'm just saying, like, if we just continue on this trend, just treat us like book it with Trent. Like, it's okay. I'm okay with being a clown if you feel the need to fade us. If we keep betting like this, book it with Trent. Right. And that's if we, fair. If we can get the, the show on the road here, ride with us. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I hope to have a better week. I've said that for, like, the last five weeks, and it hasn't happened. So, yeah, um, not super confident, but, hey, I mean, let's get into it. We'll eventually figure this out. This will eventually be figured out. Um, I looked at the first – I looked at the Thanksgiving game for tomorrow. Obviously, I got to look at those and have to watch them, obviously. Um, tough, tough couple games because they're pretty bad. Actually, it's kind of upsetting, uh, especially when you have, like, the family members you don't exactly want to talk to. You just want to watch football. You can't really do that this week because it sucks. The games are pretty bad. Um, starting off with Detroit versus uh, Chicago, horrendous game. Um, I was looking at, when you look at the Detroit schedule earlier in the year and you looked at how bad they were, you looked at them being like, this is the one game they might be able to win. Um, I don't like that anymore, especially because Jared Goff obviously isn't starting. I love Chicago at minus three. Might even consider making that my mortal lock. So, yeah, I'm going to go Chicago at minus three. Yeah, I'm going to take Detroit plus three just because I think this is like a super, super, super low scoring game. Neither team can score. Um, you might get a little backup quarterback magic out of the Lions. Uh, no Khalil Mack, he got injured. And I just think that, like, it's a low-scoring game. Maybe Detroit shows up and tries to get the first one of the year. I'm just going to take the points because I guess I think both teams suck. But, yeah, we're on opposite sides of this one, so at least one of us can get it right. Um, moving into the next game, we got the Raiders and the Cowboys. Dallas is favored by like seven it. and a half, and I don't really care. I'm going to take the Cowboys. Um, really? Raiders aren't great against the run, and – if, I don't know if Zeke is playing, actually, but I don't really care. Tony Pollard is good. I think Dallas is just going to run all over them. And uh, I don't think the Raiders' offense is very good. And I think they're kind of floundering now. So I'm going to take Dallas and just eat the points, minus seven and a half. See, this game, oh, also, if you look at me and you're asking why am I typing, I'm only typing up my phone because I don't have a, <clears throat> a pen and paper right now. So that's why I'm just going to get our games. This game confused me. I'm not going to lie. There was a lot of injuries for Dallas. <clears throat> they have C.D. Lambs out. Um, I think Zeke is out. Uh, but Tony Pollard is a good backup. Um, I just think a lot of points, especially for a weird Sunday night or a Thursday night game, especially on Thanksgiving, it's a weird thing. I don't hate, like Dallas here that much when I originally thought about it. So I'm going to go Las Vegas here <coughs> at um, plus seven and a half. I get a touchdown. So I can even see 21 14 being okay with that. Um, I don't like Dallas that much here at seven and a half. It's a lot. So I'm going to go LV here at plus seven and a half. Moving on to the next game, we have New Orleans versus Buffalo, the, the Sunday night game, or the Thursday night game, you saying Sunday. Horrendous game. But this, I was listening to PMT earlier, this is definitely a prove-it game for both sides. I think, but I think the team that can prove it more is Buffalo, because if Buffalo can win this game, that's a big win for them to be like, all right, this is a, a, a quality team, a quality defense. If New Orleans wins this, now this kind of shows that they might be in it. But if either team loses it, that's where it comes out and they're frauds. So I'm going to go Buffalo here at minus six, and I think they might try to destroy them to show everyone, listen, we're not as bad as we've been looking. Buffalo minus six. Yeah, I'm going to take the Saints. Um, I just think Buffalo's not very good, actually. I go to school up in Western New York. I was talking to all my friends about it all week. They're getting a little scared about the Bills, and they're usually pretty confident. Um, Yeah, I'm just going to take the points here. Trevor Simeon is really bad. 
but I think any team that's decent, decent gives the Bills problems. And they're still getting the respect of six points here. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take New Orleans. And the line has moved from, uh, from four to six. So people are betting Buffalo, and I'll just take New Orleans, fade the boys. Fade the boys, that's not good. I don't like getting faded like that, which is not great. But sets up for an interesting Thanksgiving. Um, we will be having Thanksgiving together. It says it's an interesting Thanksgiving because we are completely opposite on every Thanksgiving game. So exciting. Someone's either going to be 0-3 or 3-0. One of us will be 3-0, and one of us will be 0-3 after Thanksgiving. That's fun. I like that. Also for a Thanksgiving game, Mississippi State minus one and a half. That's why I saw it. I like that game. Now we'll go on to the first Sunday night game that we're seeing here. Tennessee against the New England Patriots. And I like the Patriots a lot. I think the Patriots are starting to become Patriots again. And I'm only saying this because Tennessee is going through a lot of injuries. They lost A.J. Brown, Julio Jones on IR. And um, they've also lost Derek Henry for pretty much until January, I saw. So I like New England here at minus six and a half. You might be a lot of points for a team that's number one in the AFC against the Titans. But I think the Patriots are just rolling. They're rolling hard. Um, it's also another point that I'd like to bring up that is kind of proving against my point is both teams know each other. Rabel knows what Belichick wants to do. Belichick knows what Rabel wants to do. And Rabel's a pretty good coach. He looks like one of the build disciples that's actually been doing pretty well. So tough, but I like the Patriots here at minus six and a half. Yeah, I'm going to take the Patriots at minus six and a half too. Like you said, I think they're rolling all the injuries you mentioned. I agree with most of what you said. Um, and I also just think like, the Titans are kind of falling apart here a little bit. They lost to Houston last week. This might be a bounce back spot, but um, I don't think so against Bill Belichick and a Patriots team that looks looks really good. Honestly, uh, are they are they coming off the bye, Patriots? No, they played the Falcons. They have a mini oh, bye. Right, right, right. Mini bye. Mini bye. Yeah, so they played on Thursday. Killed the Falcons. Which took like a scrimmage almost. Killed the Browns the year uh, the week before that, and I think the Browns and Tennessee are pretty similar teams. So uh, I'll take the Patriots here. They look good, and uh, hopefully Mac Jones can keep it up. Probably front runner for rook, uh, rookie of the year right now. Oh, I see easily, easily. I see easily. Um, on to the next game, we have Houston against the Jets, and I'm actually really happy about this week because this week they did NFL did a nice job for us because Houston plays the Jets and the Jaguars play Dolphins. So they just were like, okay, this shit, this, the bottom four of the barrel, they'll play, and no one has to pay attention to it. It's not like the Rams play the the. The Dolphins, like, okay, you kind of want to look at the Rams. It's like, no, here's the bottom four. They'll fuck just, off. Just don't even watch. Don't even look at it. I don't really ever read. Um, Zach Wilson's playing. It's home. I don't know. Uh, I'm going to go. I'm on the text. Je- I'm going to go Jets plus two now. I, I don't know. All right. I'm, on the, I'm on the Texans. Um, Tyrod's finally playing. I saw them win last week. Basically, I just think that team has a little bit of confidence now, and they're a much older, experienced team than the Jets. And I think they're looking at this week coming in being like, all right, like, let's get another win. And I don't think the Jets really know who they are or really what they're doing. They're cycling through quarterbacks. The coach is getting shook by Rex Ryan. Yeah, it sucks. So, yeah, I think Houston's just a little more stable right now, and they just got to win against a pretty good team. So I'm just going to take Houston. And it's only two and a half against the Jets, less than a field goal. The Jets suck. Let's go, Houston. Weird game. But we're going to win the next game. This is a big game. This is a big game. Uh, I, I live with a kid, or I know a kid that's a big Philly fan. I hate him for that. Um, fuck you, Richie. I hate you guys. I cannot wait to watch you guys get destroyed by the Giants. I cannot, as a Giants fan, look at myself in the mirror tonight and be like, you took Philadelphia at minus three and a half in your, in your, in your video. I'm taking Giants here plus three and a half. Is it a great pick? Probably not. But I cannot look at myself in the mirror and go Philadelphia against the Giants. Giants plus three and a half. Please, Giants win. Yeah, I'm not. I'm just not going to look into any mirrors for the rest of the day. I'm just going to take Philadelphia. Wow. Um, they're the better team. They're rolling right now. I don't really want to gas them up or anything because I hate the Eagles. But uh, the only thing I'd say about the Giants is even with the firing of Jason Garrett, I wouldn't expect the offense to change too much. Um, Freddie Kitchens has taken over. I don't think he's a super creative mind. I think they're kind of just going to keep the playbook. After all the losing, though, somebody had to go, and it was Jason Garrett's ass. That was Which I'm happy seat. about. Yeah, I mean, I don't want him to be our offense coordinator either, but I, I don't think Freddie Kitchens is any better. Um, Joe is probably on his way out the door after the season, in my opinion. Pat doesn't think so, but Gettleman's definitely gone. So I think the new GM will come in and not want Joe Judge to be the head coach because he's not qualified, and he's bad at his job. 
I like the guy. He seems like a cool guy, but not very good at his job. So I'd rather get someone in here who knows what he's doing. And yeah, we're already talking about the offseason because we're the Giants. And it's not even Thanksgiving yet. Right. It just makes me upset. I Well, I think the thing where I'm saying with Joe Judge, I'm not saying I like Joe Judge or not. I'm kind of almost off him in the way, but I'm just saying with Joe Judge, Mara loves guys like that. Just cl- like, you know, because Mara's a clown. And I just see him picking a GM that he knows and then he knows will keep Joe Judge because he likes Joe Judge. And just sticking with that. That's we why we haven't been in the playoffs in six years, though. And that's true. That's also very All right. True. Buccaneers at Colts. Uh, Colts are underdogs by three to the Buccaneers. And I am going to take the Colts here. Tampa Bay's coming off a little bit of a short week after playing the Giants on Monday night. Um, yeah, I think Tampa Bay is just kind of coasting at the moment. Like, they killed the Giants, but okay, like, whatever. Everybody does that. And um, the Colts are playing really well right now. They're running the ball all over everybody. Uh, I think Vita Vea is still out, so that bodes well, because usually you can't run the ball at all against the Bucs, in which case I would not trust Carson Wentz to get the job done. But that Bucs offense is pretty beat up, and uh, with Vita Vea not playing, I think Jonathan Taylor can have like, a pretty good day, and Carson Wentz will do enough to keep them in this game. I think that Indy's live uh, as an underdog, and I'll take the three points. Uh, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay here at minus three. Uh, I think Tampa Bay's better team overall, and I don't think Indy's that good. Um, I, I don't really have a real feel on this either. I like it a lot, though. I'm going to make it probably more lock because I kind of think it's a trap game in a way. I think it's too, too little point to Tampa Bay, which is one of the best in the league. So I'm going to go with Tampa Bay at minus three. They had a one and three record before playing the Giants, and I think they want us to show people, like, nah, we're not bullshit around. So, yeah, I'm going to go with Tampa Bay at minus three. Um, now we have Atlanta versus Jaguars. This is what I meant to say. This is another shit game. Horrendous. I'm just strictly going to go with the veteran quarterback and say Atlanta wins. It's Atlanta minus one. I'm only going to go with the veteran quarterback. I could care less. I'm taking the Jags. I think that team just has more fight than Atlanta. Uh, They've gotten up a few times in the last few weeks for their coach and for their team, and they're trying to put wins on the the table still. So I respect that. Uh, Yeah, that's really all I have. Uh, I'm not trying to say Jacksonville's good because clearly they're not, but Atlanta also sucks. So I'm going to take Jacksonville here. Uh, this game that we have coming up next, it's Miami at Carolina. Um, Carolina's favored by two over Miami, and I would smash Carolina here. I don't think Carolina's great. Um, they don't really have their quarterback situation figured out yet, but they have Christian McCaffrey. They have a team that's trying to win, and they have put together a few wins this season. Um, they definitely aren't as good as we thought they were after maybe like week five, but they're still better than the Miami Dolphins. The Miami Dolphins might be the worst team in the league. Yeah. So give me a Carolina Panthers here. I'm only laying two, win by a field goal, and get out of there with my cover. I'm pretty much going to do the exact same thing. Uh, I'm only going with this one as well because I think that due to Carolina losing to Washington, people are like, whoa, they're a little off and a little low on them. So I'm going to, I feel like I'm getting, I think if they beat Washington, it'd be probably around like four or five, maybe even six. So I like Carolina here at minus two. Uh, now on to the Steelers Bengals game. Awesome game. This is fun. Nice little AFC North uh, rivalry matchup going on here. Um, I hate Pittsburgh. I don't think Pittsburgh's that good. Ben sucks a lot. And I like Cincinnati. I like Joey B. This is more of a heart pick than a, than a brain pick. I'm going Cincinnati here minus four. And that's kind of the, the reason why I'm going to take the Steelers here. I think everybody just likes the Bengals. Like, they think they're cute. They're like, oh, like, they've never hurt anybody in the past. Yeah. You know, like, no one has bad, like, ill will towards the Bengals, where people do not feel that way about the Steelers. Uh, Steelers just went and played a good Chargers team and finally put points on the board. It, what's a little concerning is that they let up so many points, but I don't know if Joe Burrow is going to be able to do that to them the same way that Justin Herbert was. They've got to learn to contain Jamar Chase. And um, yeah, the Steelers should be able to run the ball, which is really what they want to do. And um, I'll take the Steelers plus four and a half. If this was a pick I'm probably going with the Bengals, but with four and a half points, give me the Steelers. Like that. Yeah, so for the next game, we got a little AFC West matchup. Um, this spread is closer than I thought it would be, but we got Denver at the Chargers. Chargers minus two and a half. Uh, so Chargers are the favorite here. And I want to take the Chargers. Uh, it does feel a little bit like you're getting baited to take the Chargers, but... Call me a fish. Right, yeah, call me a fish. Uh, hook, line, and sinker. I'm taking the Chargers. If I didn't feel like I was getting baited so hard, this would be in super lock contention. But Denver's not good, and the Chargers are decent. So I'll take the Chargers. I'm going to totally agree with you. Everything you said, I agree. So, yeah. Okay. I'm a fish, so... I'll buy it. We got Niners and the Minnesota Vikings. The San Francisco 49ers are favored by three at Minnesota. And I am going to take the Vikings. Not with a ton of conviction there. But, uh, yeah, I just think that the Vikings have been playing well the past few weeks. Uh, Kind of a nail-biter with Green Bay there. But 
Dalvin Cook should be able to run the ball. The 49ers are playing well now, though. But I just think it, wait, this isn't prime time, right? No. It's, no. It's, four, the four it's like America's game of the week. Right? All right, 4.30. Yeah, so I'm just going to take the Viking. Actually, I'm going to take San Francisco minus three. I like San Francisco a lot. I think they're kind of starting to roll a little bit, and they beat the Rams pretty bad. Uh, I like San Francisco, weirdly, for some reason. And I'm, I just don't believe in the Vikings, although they prove me wrong all the time. I really like Green Bay against the Vikings this week, and I got proven wrong hard. So I don't know. I, I'm going to go San Francisco here because I don't like the Vikings. Yeah, I think that's kind of the sentiment. So I think I'm just going to stick with the Vikings here. I don't know. I think people are mad at them, so I'm just going to take uh, We got Green Bay Pick em. and L.A. Rams. Oh. Pick them. We're picking it straight here. Um, I'm going to take the Packers. Not feeling great about it. But uh, the Rams haven't looked good. The Rams haven't looked good at all. Um, yeah, so I think people would love to bet the Rams here because the Packers haven't looked that good either recently. No, and I'm going to go Rams here strictly off of the fact that the Rams are off of a bye. So they're off of a bye. And, yeah, I think – you know, a lot of people are saying them word in the street is they look soft, they don't look great, and people are kind of suspect on them and how they feel. I don't hate this at pick them. I could see it. They need to have a big game against a good team because they've only beaten up on shitty teams since they beat the Buccaneers. So I'm going to go Rams here. They need to have a big game. They're going to put a little extra effort into it. I like Rams. Off of a bye, too, it, it seems right. I was going to go Green Bay, and then I realized the Rams are off of a bye. And that's why I'm going Rams. Strictly that. Sean McVay's had two weeks to prepare for a really good opponent. Yeah, that's kind of true. I didn't really thought about that, but uh, I'm just gonna stick with what I went with. Can't be flip flopping like that. Finally, when do our last game here? Oh, uh, is this our last game? Nope. Sorry, oh, second to last game. Um, this is my uh, Baltimore Cleveland. This is Sunday night. Baltimore's favored by three and a half. Cleveland is underdogs by three and a half. Man, do I not want to pick this game. <laughs> is this a coin flip game? You haven't done your coin flip yet. I know, but the, the next game sucks, too. Like, <laughs> Monday night games would be horrendous, but yeah. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the coin flipper. Ooh. So Cleveland is home. Uh, Baltimore's away. Flip a coin. I have my pick in. Flip a coin. Oh, we got tails. So we're taking Baltimore. Minus three and a half. Don't hate that. I'm going to say both. Uh, don't feel great about it, as you can imagine, because it's my coin flip game. But yeah, like, uh, like I have no read. Both of these teams have just confused me to death the last few weeks. So I'm just going to take Baltimore because the coin said so. The coin's my boy. So I'm taking Baltimore here because I like the defense and just everything more. I like them more. I think they're hurt. I think they're kind of beat up. So I like that just more in general. Um, now we're going to Washington, Seattle. You're right. This is a horrendous game. An absolutely horrendous game. Is Russ still hurt? That is the main question for this. Um, I think I'm going to go Washington at minus one. They kind of look like they've started. No, no, I'm going to go Seattle minus, plus one. I'm going to go Seattle plus one. It's almost a pick them. And I don't know. I think Seattle's going to step up and play better. I, I don't believe in Heineke. I feel like he's one of those kind of guys that can have a couple games in a row that are good. And everyone's like, oh, look, Heineke's good. Washington's good and then suck. So I'm going to go Seattle here at plus one. I'm going to take Seattle as well. Like as much as I, as much as the Seahawks have disappointed me over the last uh-huh. few weeks, like I'm not taking Russell Wilson. Like I can't pass up the opportunity to take Russell Wilson as an underdog against Taylor Heineke. Um, they still have DK Metcalf. They still have Tyler Lockett. They still have a what I think is a decent coach in Pete Carroll. And Washington, they just don't have those pieces. Terry's good. So, uh, yeah, I don't feel great about it at all. Not with a lot of conviction, but we're taking Seattle here. And we're moving the other way than the line is, which is good. Opened at a pick. So we're fading the public a little bit on this one. And I'm, I, I guess I feel better than I would if I took Washington. So take that with the grain of salt that it comes with. And I think that's, a, that's our last pick. That is our last pick. But I had my three mortals. I don't know if you want to think about your mortals. Uh, my three mortals, I'm going to go first game of the week. Chicago at minus three. I keep on saying his name wrong. Doyle Boyle. Boyle. Boyle, I'm betting against you, buddy, and your team's trash. So I'm going to go with Tim Boyle is not going to play well. If it was Jared Goff, it'd be a closer game. I'm going to go Chicago at minus three. That's my first mortal lock. Second mortal lock is Carolina minus two. Like I said earlier, they lost to Washington in a tough loss. I think they won that game. I'd get a couple – this would be a bigger spread. 
So I think I'm kind of getting some money here. I'm getting minus two. I like them a lot against whoever they're playing. Miami. Miami's horrendous, like I said. In Carolina, minus two. My last mortal lock, which I was surprised. And I feel like I'm kind of getting – I'm a little rat trying to go into a trap right now. I think this is a trap game. I'm going Los Angeles Chargers at minus two and a half. I think they're a thousand times better than Broncos. the Broncos. And I don't think this is going to be – I don't know how – they're just doing this because they haven't played well this past couple weeks. But I'm going to go Chargers at minus two and a half. All right, so um, I'm going to take the Carolina Panthers as well with you. Miami sucks. Yep. That's it. I'm also going to take the little Thanksgiving game action here with the Ooh. Cowboys. Minus okay. seven and a half. I think they kill the Raiders here. And then I will be switching a pick. Really? In the middle of the show. Some things just came to my mind, you know. I would like the Broncos instead of the Chargers. Wow. And I would like to super lock it. Whoa. Yeah. What came to your mind? You know, the only thing that the Chargers can't do, like whatever, like the only thing that kills the Chargers, they cannot stop the run. They bleed yards on the ground. Yeah. And the only thing the Broncos are good at is running, is running the ball with Javante and Melvin. Hmm. So I, I see it being that kind of game, and they're familiar rivals too. So take the points in the running game. And, uh, yeah, that's that's all I've got for today. But I actually – I'm very happy I switched the Broncos. I like the Broncos a lot more than – I like the Chargers before thinking about that. So that, that's where I'm at. I like it. Just one more thing, 1.02. You can switch right now. Alvin Kamara's is out. Fine. I'm good with it. Damn. All right. That's our show. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank so you guys. now we got to head out, but appreciate it. See you guys.